that would capture my sense of why we needed historically black colleges when they began, as Stanley Nelson so brilliantly describes, and why we still need them now. And I'm going to tell very quickly a story I've told countless times. When I was at Spelman and at Bennett, I held open office hours. So my office often looked like the way president's offices are looking these days. Again, it looked like a protest because you couldn't make a specific appointment. You just had to sit and wait your turn. So I'm in my office and it looks like there's a protest outside. But sisters are just waiting to come in. So this is Spelman. Could have been better. A student comes in and I said, now, my Spelman sister, before you begin to tell me why you're here, what you want us to talk about, I want you to know, I looked you up. Mm -hmm. I know who you are. You have got a record that is extraordinary. <coughs> you could have gone to any of the Ivies. Why in the world did you choose a historically black college for women? Mm -hmm. She said, I'll explain. Because I'm going to be an astrophysicist. And I didn't want any professor to ever look at me and say or imply, honey, are you sure you can do physics? This is still yes. what is distinctive about a historically black college, yes. including the two for women. Yes. And that how predominantly white institutions need to work on. Yes. It is the assumption mm -hmm. that because of the color of your skin or your gender, that you can't do physics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 